for finding angle measures given supplementary, complementary, or vertical angle pairs, the idea is this. When you have two intersecting lines, whatever angle you have here is equivalent to this angle right here because when they fold or move back and forth, as one shrinks, the other would shrink the same way. Try it with scissors, you'll see what I mean. If this angle was 40 degrees, and this angle said x, in this case, obviously x equals 40 degrees. Now, if I change this other angle, which is equal to 40 no matter what, to x plus 12 degrees, then I have algebra that I'm looking at because I know that x plus 12 equals 40 and this degree. So how do I figure out the value of x? I can remove 12 from both sides, keeping my equation in balance. So subtracting 12, subtracting 12, 12 minus 12 is zero, x equals 28. Of course, I could do this in my head, but it is helpful to practice the algebraic ideas of removing or adding the same thing to both sides. Okay, so 28 plus 12 is 40, equal to 40. Now, let's move on to supplementary and complementary angles. Quite often, students in middle school want to estimate and use that as an answer, but there's usually going to be an algebraic way to figure it out, given, let's begin with supplementary angles. They equal 180 degrees. So in this case, if a circle is a 360, then half a circle is a 180. Now, if this side is x plus 20, and this side is, let's see, well, I can see it's more than 90, so I'm just going to put it at 100 degrees. But you'll be given these when you start the game. I know that this plus this equals 180. So 100 plus x plus 20 equals 180. Now, how do I solve this? Well, I can combine 120, because they're just constants, they're just numbers, plus x equals 180. Then I can subtract the same thing from both sides, 120, which removes it from the left side, and I'm left with 1x equals 180 minus 120 is 60. And this is how supplementary angles work. 100 plus 80 equals the 180 we started with. So you will see that in this activity for levels one, two, and three, it just gets harder as you move through the levels. Finally, there is the idea of finding an angle given a complementary pair. When given a complementary pair, you will see the right angle designation with this little square. That means that the angle pair, this pair, the, this angle and this angle equals 90 degrees. A complementary pair literally means two angles with an adjacent line segment that equals 90 degrees. So if this angle is given as x plus 30, and this one is given as, this is gonna be a hard one, 2x, then how do I figure out the each angle, really? All I know is that these two together equal 90. Well, we can make an equation. 2x plus x plus 30, all of that equals 90 degrees. I can combine these x's, combining like terms, 3x plus 30 equals 90. Now, I can remove 30 from both sides, keeping the equation in balance. 30 minus 30 is zero. I'm left with 3x equals 90 minus 30 is 60. And my final thought is if 3x is a 60, I can divide by three. 60 divided by three is 20. And to complete the way my teacher wants to see it, I put in dividing for both sides, because it's a balance. Three divided by three is one. I'm left with one X. One X equals 20 degrees. Is this right? Is this true? I can plug it back in here. Two times 20 is 40. And then 20 plus 30 is 50. So is 50 plus 40, 90? Yes. These angles look perfectly accurate compared to the diagram? No. And that won't happen usually on testing quizzes, so you can't just estimate. You've got to do the math. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.